Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krabzy Crypto, and for today's video I'll be showing you how to mine Ravencoin with a 2GB graphics card. And as you see here I have the GeForce GTX 760. Now this is just an old 2GB graphics card. I can just show you here, I know I'm just trying to get the focus since I just have one hand. So there we go, the 2, 2G, you see it's a start there. So, it's just a basic 2 gigabyte graphics card, and I'll be showing you on my computer how I use it to mine just like Ravencoin, Digibyte, and a few others. And it ends up being like somewhat profitable for me at least, because I don't pay for electricity. But let's get right into today's video. In order to get start mining Ravencoin or Digibyte or any of those few coins with a 2 gigabyte graphics card, you're going to need a program called VertHash One Click Miner. And for that reason is because what you're actually mining is the vert hash or vert coin and on the program it will convert to whatever payout you choose. So once you go onto the GitHub page here, I'll put the link in the description. You just want to scroll down until you see releases over here and then you just want to click on the releases button and that will bring you to this page here. And once you're on this page, you're going to scroll down a little bit and you're going to have all these different options to download. You want to download whatever operating system you have so there's the linux one and then there's one for windows so for windows users you want to download the windows dash x64.zip one not this other one here and then for linux you want to download this top one here and then what you want to do is go to wherever folder you did download it to i just downloaded it to my desktop here and once you have it downloaded you just want to right click on it and for me, I'm just using 7-Zip to extract it. You can use WinRAR or whatever. But once you go over to 7-Zip, you just want to click Extract to, then the folder name. And then just let that extract. And then once it does extract, you just want to drag it over. But before you open it, like you can open the folder, you want to go over to your settings on the windows here. And then you want to click Update and Security. And then you want to click Windows Security over on the left hand side. And then you want to click virus and threat protection at the top here and then now another window should pop up and you want to scroll down to the manage settings under virus and threat protection settings just click on the manage settings and then you want to scroll down to exclusions and then you want to click this little blue add or remove exclusions button and once you do that you want to click add an exclusion then add folder and then it will bring up uh, the choices of where you want to select it so for me I have it on the desktop so you just click uh, the vert hash one click miner folder and then select the folder and then a window security window should pop up and you just click yes now you may be wondering why you're doing that that's just to allow the program through the virus and threat security wall because all miners it seems just pop up as a virus that's just a thing because they're not officially published by any official company so they just come up as a virus but anyways once you do all that all those steps for the windows security you just want to reopen the folder wherever you have it and then you just want to click the vert hash one click miner so vert hash dash ocm dot exe so you just want to go ahead and double click on it and it just might take a minute to open depending on your computer system here but we'll just wait and let it open alright so once it opens up here it's gonna come up with these windows saying like installing mining software verifying and creating data file since I've already ran it before mine's already done the check but for you it'll come up with like a progress bar and it'll set at like 0% and it has to fill up to 100%. That can take some time, that just creates the mining file for your graphics card. But once that is done, it'll come up with this window here, and then it'll automatically start mining for you, and all you wanna do is click Stop Mining. But once you click the Stop Mining button, you just wanna come over to the Settings tab here, and for you, it'll probably have the Dogecoin wallet picked out, but all you wanna do is on this drop down here, it's gonna give you all these different options for mining coins. For example, for right now, I'll just do Digibyte. So you just click on Digibyte and then make sure the mining pool is on Zpool because I find that's like the best one. And then right here, you want to put your address for the payout. So for me, I'll just open up my wallets here. I'll just copy it. This is all you have to do. Just copy your Digibyte wallet address and make sure it's the Digibyte one. And then you just paste it right into that box there. And all you do is click save and restart. 
and then we'll just let it load up here and it'll go through the same thing. You just won't have the progress bar this time, it'll just load up like mine. But as you see, it automatically starts mining and then it will show you your expected earnings for Digibyte. So for me, it's 2.13 Digibyte, so not much. My kilohash is down. On my other computer with my graphics card, I've ran it at like, I used to get like 80 kilohash. So it just seems like something obviously with the recording or whatever. Sorry about that, I just had to stop the mining because my computer was lagging, going, like doing the recording and mining. But as you've seen there, it shows like your, what you're going to earn. Without my recording, I could probably go and get about 10 to 15 per day with my 2 gigabyte graphics card. And that's for Digibyte. So I'm just going to show you Ravencoin as well. So for Ravencoin, what you want to do is come over to the mining pool section and click this drop down. And then you want to click Zerg pool because Zerg pool is the one with Ravencoin. So then once you click Zerg pool, you just want to click that other drop down on the left hand side here. And then you just want to go down to Ravencoin. And all you're going to do here is the same thing. You're going to open up your address. I don't have my Ravencoin address in there, but you'll post it right there. And then all you do is save and restart. And then you'll start mining once again. And it'll show you your like total amount of Ravencoin and all that. And then I'll just quickly show you what uh, the stats you can see and everything as well. So I'll just quickly start mining here. It might lag a little bit again, but... I'm just doing this for the sake of the video. So as you see here, it has the view payout information. You just click that whenever and it should open up your window, bring you to the wallet and bring you to all your information about your miner. And as you see, I have the vert hash miner going. And this is with Zpool. This is the pool I personally use as well. As you see, you can tell by all my Digibyte payments. But yeah, so overall it's not bad at all. Like it's great to see the two gigabyte graphics card be able to mine again and everything. So if you did enjoy, make sure to hit that subscribe and like button if it helped you out in any way as well. And hopefully this can help you get started with building a mining rig, even mining some Ravencoin, Digibyte. As you see, there's a whole selection of coins depending on what pool you use. So Zerg pool, Z pool, and then you can obviously just mine Doge if you want. But uh, all of it is just ran by your wallet address. So each coin you select, you just want to put in your wallet address right there with the corresponding coin. And then just click save and restart each time and it will be good to go. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.